welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am finally, finally going to review the most, one of the most expensive makeup brands that I own, which is Charlotte Tilbury. Now this is a makeup brand that I feel like everybody knows about this, right? I mean, if you open Instagram, YouTube, if you are into beauty, you know what Charlotte Tilbury is and everybody uses it. So today I am going to talk about all the products that I have from the brand, if they are worth the high price tag, if they are not. So I'll dive, you know, I'll just dive right into the video. Let's start. Before starting, I do want to show you guys one of my favorite vitamin C serum, which is the Cess Derma C with Liposomal Serum. This serum is very unique as it has the most stabilized form of vitamin C in here. Also, it has nanotechnology and it's made in Spain. The best thing about this vitamin C serum is that you don't need to put this in a refrigerator like other vitamin C serum due to oxidization and also you can use this in your morning time skincare routine after cleansing your face just use two to three drops of this and pat it all over your skin and then it's going to absorb and then you can go in with a moisturizer and do not forget to wear your sunscreen this vitamin c serum is super effective and can show results within weeks after using so you definitely have to be very consistent with it this you can buy it directly from iberia skin brands amazon flipkart and one mg i will leave all the links down in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and check this one out so the first product that i have here is this charlotte tilbury magic serum now most of these products you will see me using mini products because as i said they are very expensive and i just didn't want to spend my full money on full size products so i got a lot of these small you know small mini products from uh, instagram brand uh, sorry from instagram page they do sell these minis individually so i got it from that page i really don't even remember the page because i like bought it like three or two months ago and i'm I just don't remember which page I got it from. Anyway, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. So this is a serum that's supposed to give you very hydrating effect. It is going to be very glowy, you know, all of that goodness. So while I was using this serum, I have been using it for quite some time. As I said, I have been testing this out. So while I was using the serum, I noticed that this serum is very okay. Like it's a little bit hydrating yes it's a little bit glowy and that's it if you have sensitive skin please stay away from this serum because it has a bunch like a bunch of like i think fragrance in here yeah it has a lot of fragrance and the fragrance is a little bit strong i'll say so if you have sensitive skin you might have a reaction to the fragrance present in here overall i just think that this is a product that i personally wouldn't spend my money on because i don't think that this is worth it i mean yes it does hydrate your skin a little bit gives it a little bit of a glowing effect but that is it you can get that kind of uh you know finish already with so many other different products you don't really have to go and spend your you know so much money on this particular serum and this one was quite expensive as well like full size product is around five thousand or four thousand rupees for just a normal regular serum which has a lot of fragrance in it so for me personally i like the serum i will definitely finish up the mini one but i am not going to repurchase the serum and i definitely wouldn't recommend you guys to purchase this as well so the next product we have here i have talked about this product before by the way on the channel so this is the sha oh my god this is one of the most hyped up product from the brand this is the magic cream that they have you know people or i have seen beauty influencers use this products you know like they used it so religiously when i was like you know in youtube starting out people were going crazy over the charlotte tilbury magic cream and people used it in their nighttime skincare routine before makeup you know before putting on foundation they said that it's like really good a great primer keeps your skin looking healthy glowy flawless makes your foundation glide on and all of that so when i got this uh, when i you know bought this tiny little magic cream sample i was super excited because i thought it is going to change my skincare game or it's going to change my foundation how it looks how it's going to look on my skin but i was surprised that it's just a thick 
cream that's going to give you a little bit of hydration and that's it again this cream contains a lot of fragrance like i feel like charlotte tilbury products especially their skincare products has a lot of that high floral fragrance type of a thing so again if you have sensitive skin please do not get this because i feel like you might have a reaction to this product anyway coming to the texture and all of it i really like it underneath my foundation i'm not going to lie i really like it it's a good cream but i feel like my nivea that big blue tub wala thing does the same thing as this it's, it gives me the hydration it makes my foundation look very very glowy uh it's just a normal regular thick skin care cream and that's it that's that's all like it's not going to blur out your pores it's not going to make your foundation like flawless it's just going to give you hydration i definitely wouldn't recommend this as a skincare product because uh, personally there is a lot of fragrance for me to use this as a skincare product so i'm strictly using this underneath my foundation like a primer uh so yeah in case you want to buy maybe this charlotte tilbury magic cream uh you can go for the mini version but again i would say it's a overpriced thing i wouldn't recommend i did not like it i did not like it that much so the next thing that i spent my full money on here is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation now i was very confused for two things because they have two foundations one is a hydrating foundation and one is a airbrush flawless foundation so uh, you know while searching up for this foundation i looked through a lot of reviews because i had to spend like 4000 on this foundation so i had to look up for reviews to see which one was the best uh so the hydrating one normally i would pick that one but i picked this charlotte tilbury flawless uh, airbrush foundation because you know a lot of people said with dry skin even that the hydrating foundation did not really look good on their skin and the airbrush is much more better in formulation so i got the airbrush one now i am in the shade 8 cool i do have to say when i first swatched this foundation on my face it does look a little bit lighter on my skin tone but after that it oxidizes so you can clearly see in the later part of the clip as well that when i am putting a fresh foundation swatch on my cheek you can see that there is definitely a difference so once it settles down it actually matches my skin tone perfectly now coming to the formulation of this foundation it's a very okay foundation again for me i am not obsessed with it you know when i'm spending 4000 on a foundation i want to be obsessed with it whenever i'm going out i want to choose the foundation i want to be wowed by it. that's not what's happened with this product i am not wowed by it it is a good product it is a good foundation it lasts really long on my skin it looks good on pictures it looks good in person as well sometimes yes it looks a little bit dry around my mouth but yeah it's a overall a good foundation but is it worth spending 4000 rupees on that's when i'll say no because even though it is a good foundation i feel like i have so much better foundation than this in my collection uh, it's not a foundation that i am you know picking up first and when i'm spending again when i'm spending that kind of money i want a product that i am just going to pick up in a go you know so yeah i overall like this foundation also the longevity of this foundation is super great so that's a really good point of this foundation uh by the end of the day i noticed that this foundation definitely holds up uh the only thing is that if i'm not using a very good hydrating primer it does uh, look a little bit dry on my skin so maybe for summers i might like it more like you know during june july those months maybe i like it more coverage wise it gives like a medium to full coverage so it's not like a total full full coverage you can build it up to full coverage but if you layer this foundation too much it might tend to get cakey so that is another aspect i noticed about this foundation now it does look good in pictures and it looks good in flash as well i tried to take a flash photo i noticed that this definitely does look good in flash so overall again my review is that it looks okay it's a really good foundation definitely not worth 4000 if this was priced for like 2000 1500 i would say this is a really good foundation but for the price of 4000 I just don't think so. Okay, so the next product that I have here is again a highly raved product. This is the airbrush uh what is this? 
I forget the name of these products. So this is like a compact powder, right? This is the airbrush compact powder. Again, I got the mini size, of course. So this compact powder, I have been using it for quite some time. I do have to say when I saw this compact powder, I love the packaging. It's so classy. Uh, another thing I do want to add about this product is that when I swatched it, oh my God, it feels so creamy. It almost feels like cream, you know, it's, it's not like powdery at all. It is a very good powder, especially for your under eyes. If you have dry under eyes, you are going to actually enjoy this powder. This is a powder that I personally liked a lot. Um, and I'm happy I got the mini one because I am someone I don't use a lot of powder over all, you know, like all of my face. I just use it under my eyes. So I don't really have to spend 4000 on a big, you know, full size product. I'm happy to get this powder. Maybe even if I run out of it, I might even repurchase this because I did enjoy this powder a lot. And this is really good for touch ups as well on the go. Really, the mini actually just fits right in my purse so i am super impressed with the powder again expensive yes but it does work it is something that i don't quite have in my collection because of the finish of this powder it's very velvet like you know it's actually feels like velvet i cannot you know show that to you on camera but whenever you touch this powder this feels so good, like smooth and buttery and just glides on your skin. Uh, so overall, yes, I did enjoy this powder. And I, if you want to get something from Charlotte Tilbury, I would say the powder is definitely worth the money um, because the foundation was definitely not a very good product for me personally. If you have oily skin, I think you might like it more. But for me, the powder was A+. plus. So yeah, I'm happy that I you know, uh, purchase the powder because I know I'm going to use it. Next product we have here is a new launch by Charlotte Tilbury and this is the matte blush once. Now, every time I open Instagram, really, I'm telling you guys, there is no lie here. Every time I open Instagram, all I see is this blush. Oh my God. And I was just obsessed with the packaging because like, to be very honest, I love the packaging of this, right? So I was super, super excited about this. And when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I might just end up getting one. So I got the shade Pillow Talk because this is the only shade that I feel like would suit me. So the shade that I got here is Pillow Talk. I got this shade only because I think that the other shade won't suit me. Medium skin tone or deep skin tone i think that this is the only shade that would suit me you know so i got the shade pillow talk now when i swatched it i was like nowhere in hell this is a matte blush this is not a matte blush it feels very dewy on the skin i mean i love dewy blushes okay i love glowy blushes you guys know that but when you're marketing a blush as a matte blush at least have a soft matte effect but this one i feel like doesn't have that you know it's not like super super dewy but yes it is a dewy blush it feels dewy on the skin so if you are someone who have oily skin and you're thinking that this is going to be a matte liquid blush it's actually not i will say it has a little bit of that satin dewy finish to it it's definitely not too glowy but yes it has that satin feel to it now do i like the wand applicator i just don't because i feel like you know once you pull up the product you cannot put it back in and this one we like it's called it's very costly so i don't want to waste any product you know so that's the only thing i don't like the packaging really don't like it uh another thing i do want to say is i love the shade okay the shade is beautiful it's a very nice nude brown sort of a shade the thing about this blush is that it's sheer and I have to build it up. I have to build like two layers to show on my skin. And you guys know when it comes to blush, I'm not shy about it. I pack on a lot of blush. So yeah, the, the thing is that this is sheer and I don't think so it's going to suit a lot of medium to dusky skin. Um, here's a thing, my perspective again. I feel like a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury products are not made for medium to dusky skin or even deep skin tones. I feel like they are more targeted towards light, tones that's how i feel personally because 
I've seen the blush shades and I'm not really impressed, you know. Uh, they have a lot of light tones. They don't have much more of nude tones for dusky and deep skin. So for me personally, yes, the blush formulation is good. I like it. The packaging looks beautiful. It looks good. And I like the finish of it as well. Don't get me wrong. I do really like the finish. But it doesn't show up that well on my skin tone. So, you know, for that reason, I, you know, I don't know. I just... I'm not like 100% happy with this purchase just because it's too sheer for my liking. I wish that, you know, it had a little bit more pigment to it. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about this blush. I'm not hesitant to pay money for makeup, but when it comes to performance, I wanted to perform that well too. So this one was below my expectation. It didn't perform up to my expectations. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a very okay product for me. So the next product that I have here are two highlighters. One is the Glowgasm. Oh my god, I got this actually in a duo. Again, I don't know if you're going to get this from Nykaa. I did not get this from Nykaa. You can buy them individually on Nykaa. But I got this from the Instagram reseller store. Now we have here the shade Glowgasm. Now Glowgasm, sorry, Glowgasm or Pinkgasm? Sorry, Pinkgasm. So I really like the shade Pinkgasm. I thought... I wouldn't like this shade because I thought it's a pink toned highlighter. I don't like pink toned highlighter. I just like champagne toned highlighters. But on top of my blush, it looks beautiful. Like this is a product that has lived up to the height, I feel like. It is so good. Like it looks very glowy. It makes my blush look like it's glowing from within. Even if I go in with a matte blush, I know that this product is going to make it look more glowy and dewy. And I did really like this one. I'm so happy that I liked it. I finally, you know, spent my money on a product and I like it. I'm just happy about it. And this actually lived up to the expectation, you know. I didn't have much expectation from the highlighters. I thought, you know, they are just going to be just like normal, regular highlighters. People were just raving about it like too much. But the shade Pinkgasm, I think it's worth it, you know, especially if you are someone who likes that very natural, subtle highlighter, you want your blush to look glowy and dewy, then I feel like this is the perfect one. This cannot be used only as a blush, by the way, it can be used as a blush topper and a blush highlighter sort of a situation, but alone as a blush, this won't work for medium skin. Uh, so next, moving on, we have the shade Spotlight here. So the shade Spotlight, I did really like it. It's a very nice champagne shade. But if you want me to choose between Spotlight and Pinkgasm, I will definitely choose Pinkgasm because I just feel like it looks more natural on my skin tone. Now the shade Spotlight is also really good. I love the highlighters a lot. I feel like they don't have any sort of visible shimmers or glitters, which is something that I don't like. They don't break down my foundation. They look very good on the skin and overall, I feel like they are really well formulated. And I know that I will be using both these products, but again, for me, the winner here is Pingasm. And if I run out of it, I am definitely going to repurchase it because I like it that much. Now coming to the Charlotte Tilbury mini lipsticks, we have three mini lipsticks here. I paid like 1000 for each, 1000 or 1500 for each of these mini lipsticks. So the first shade that we have that I am wearing is Walk of Shame. Now I have seen this shade look so beautiful on so many skin tones. This is a shade that is going to look beautiful on dusky and deep skin tone as well. And this shade is just super, super beautiful. It's definitely not one of their most like pillow talk is one of the most raved about shade right but i like this more than pillow talk i really like it it just brightens up my skin tone it's not exactly a red lipstick it has a little bit of the brown undertone to it which is what i like the most and the formulation of this lipstick is also really good even if you have dry lips you're not going to feel heavy and this is not going to exaggerate your lines on the lips it's actually going to just blur out your lips and it's a very very good product i liked it i really do like it the only thing is that my lipstick is ruined uh, i don't know how i'm not able to open up this lipstick too but yeah i did really like it and i might actually buy the bigger size if i run out of the mini i might because this shade is beautiful so the next shade that I swatched here is the shade uh, Stoned Possel. 
I don't know how to pronounce that. So yeah, this is a very nice peach nude shade. Again, this is a shade that's going to suit more, I will say, medium to fair skin, like light, medium, fair skin. This is a nice peach brown shade. This, I know it will look good with a brown lip liner on us dusky and medium tone you know people it's going to look very nice with a brown lip liner the formulation of this lipstick is a satin matte it's not completely matte but it's not completely a glossy lipstick too so the last thing we so next lipstick we have here is the shade pillow talk now this is the most raved about product from charlotte tilbury you know when i didn't even know charlotte tilbury existed i saw people use this pillow talk shade so much so raved about but so this is a shade that is going to suit light and fair skin tones. It's not going to suit us medium or dusky skin tones because uh, yeah, it's going to look very, very light and it's going to wash us out. That's what, you know, I noticed. The formulation is good, but uh, yeah, this is a shade that I definitely wouldn't repurchase. It would look good with a brown lip liner again. So the last product that we have here is the shade again, Pillow Talk. This is a full lipstick. And this retails uh, for 3000 something and this is the shade Pillow Talk Medium. Now again, as I said, I do have the shade Pillow Talk and they came up with three variants, I think. One is a Pillow Talk and this is Pillow Talk Medium and this is Pillow Talk. Now Pillow Talk Medium, this looks beautiful on my skin tone. This is a very nice cool tone nude for my skin tone and I absolutely love it. This is a uh, you know, lipstick that I wear a lot and I have talked about this lipstick. It's not something that's super revolutionary or anything like that. I like it. It's a very, very good shade. It's going to suit even deep skin tones, I feel like, if you wear a brown lip liner. But overall, the shade is nice. You know, I like it. And I have been using it quite a lot. So overall, for this brand, I will say it's a little bit overhyped, yes. Uh, uh, you know, people just use it, I think, maybe because of packaging. The packaging is really pretty. So I feel like if you have the money to spend, you can go and buy from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not stopping you. But the thing is that these products are not unique. Unique in a sense that if I'm paying so much high price for a product, I want it to be not dupable. Like most of the Huda Beauty products I have, they are very unique. You know, Huda Beauty as a brand, I personally like a lot. So I am willing to spend my money on a brand, on a high-end brand that I feel like has unique products or unique formulations. Uh, with Charlotte Tilbury, I can actually dupe everything that I got. Like literally, I can dupe all of the things that I got here today. So yeah, if I can dupe a product, like a high-end product and maybe get a really affordable version of it, then I just don't think it's worth the money. You know, that's where you lose me. Uh, so overall, this was fun to try out. I don't know when I'll be buying next Charlotte Tilbury product because this was expensive. And yeah, that was it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and like it. Let me know your thoughts on Charlotte Tilbury. Do you think it is an overhyped product or do you think like, you know, it's worth the money. Let me know about it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.